College Fair is an excellent opportunity to visit with representatives of a large number of colleges, community colleges, scholarship granting organizations, and trade schools at one time. Fairs can be attended in person or virtually. Whether or not college fairs are effective for your college search is up to you. Let us help you think through how to make the most of the time you spend at a college fair. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is College Fairs Done Right. A college fair is a collection of college representatives whose only job during that time is to represent their school well enough to attract more students. In an in-person fair, each school has a table they brand with flyers, giveaway trinkets, and attractive pictures of their school. The admissions counselor, staff member, or alumni representative of the school working the table will be able to either answer your questions or steer you in the direction of an individual or office that has the information you need. In a virtual setting, the school may have a general video presentation on what their college has to offer. The presentation may answer some of your questions. Then you can take advantage of one-on-one -on -one virtual appointments, if offered, where you can ask questions that you have that were not addressed in their presentation. Before you do anything related to a college fair or contacting a college representative, create a college search email address. This address needs to reflect your name. Don't use anything cutesy or related to your activities. You need a simple address that will help the representative know with whom they are communicating. All high school students are welcome to use college fairs to learn more about schools that are interesting and to be introduced to schools you didn't even know about before you see their information at the fair. College fairs can help you narrow your college search as you progress through high school. One of the greatest opportunities held in a college fair is to demonstrate your interest in the college to the person who is measuring such. This is your chance to make a positive impression that can follow your application. As in any relationship, showing interest in the other person is not only important, it can be critical. Demonstrated interest is measured by many colleges and can have an impact on the selection process. If given the opportunity to pre-register, do so. This means that you can enter your contact information. In return, they will give you a number or QR code that allows the school to access your contact information without you having to fill out an information card. Some schools offer merit aid if you demonstrate interest at a college fair and then are chosen for admissions. It is worth filling out the contact form just in case. You can always unsubscribe to any email contact should the school drop off your list of prospective schools. College fairs are not only a chance for the college representative to measure you, it is your chance to measure if the school's culture and offerings are right for you. To make the most of your fair experience, you need to do some prep work. Start with the listing of what you are looking for in a college. Details you pursue should include the majors offered, the type of town that hosts the school, the student to faculty ratio, the cost, the culture, the extracurriculars, whatever it is that is important to you as you make your college choice should be on that list. Make sure you know what parts of the college decision are non-negotiable for you, be it major offerings, location, cost, or any other feature. Then create a list of schools you wish to have addressed your questions. Review the list of schools participating. Are any of those schools worthy of investigation to see if they have potential? Next, do a website search on each college on your list. Learn as much as you can about what each school has to offer you. When you get time with the college's representative, ask questions that are not obvious. Show that you have done some investigative work into the school. Go beyond what the website could offer. Feel free to have your questions written down and to refer to those questions as you speak with the representatives. Also, take active notes as the representative is providing you responses. Note if you receive any answers that contradict information presented by the school in any other location. Make sure you track down the correct information. As we are speaking about you interacting with the college's representatives, we would like to take a minute to offer a few suggestions. While you don't need to dress up, you do need to present yourself in a professional fashion. Look the representative in the eye, smile, and don't monopolize their time if there's a line of others who would like to investigate this college. 
ask a few questions, and then let the representative know that you have other information you would like to collect. So you will send them an email. Let the representative know about you. Don't recite your resume. Rather, through your questions about the school, transmit what is important to you and your college decision. If attending a fair in person, you are able to have a conversation with the school's representative, you can read more clues to consider the impression you are making on them. You get one-on-one -on -one time, even if it is shortened because of a long line. Another advantage is you can come across schools that you had not considered based on your advanced work. There may be a table or a representative who catches your eye or provides you with information you had not previously considered. Here are some tips if you're attending a fair. Generally, the schools will be set up alphabetically. It is common for people to start with the top of their alphabetical list. We suggest you go backwards. This may decrease the time you spend waiting in line. You will be completing contact information forms for each college. They want to make sure they track everyone with whom they converse. Be patient and make sure the representative can read your handwriting. If you have a problem with legibility, print up business cards with all of your contact information that can be attached to their information form. And please, make sure it is you communicating with the representative, not your parents. Virtual fairs offer more options with attendance and you don't have to travel to attend. Many will allow you to watch presentations by the college on your own time. Go to your list of schools to watch their presentations, then pick two or three schools who have some of the same characteristics as those on your list and listen to their presentations as well. If offered the chance to sign up for one-on-one -on -one virtual meeting with a school, do so. The opportunity for sign up is generally within the hours of the fair. If not, use the contact information presented for each college and craft your email requests for more details on that school. Virtual fairs tend to be frequent. They don't offer crowd management problems and the presentations may well answer some, if not all of the questions you have on your list. Another nice feature is that there are fairs offered that are specific to an area of study, such as STEM or the arts. One potential drawback of a virtual fair is that you need reliable internet access. While you can attend on your phone, if you are not confident in your access, look for community opportunities to secure reliable internet during the fair. Once you have completed each fair, you have to do a bit more work. Complete your notes on the responses you receive from each school. Make your notes as soon after the fair as possible to help avoid confusion. File your notes and any paperwork you receive from the schools that are helpful. Recycle the rest. If you're better able to organize electronically, you can scan all the information the schools provide you and file accordingly. Review your findings. Determine if the information presented helps to narrow your choices of potential schools. Determine the college campuses you would like to personally visit. And see if there is a representative of that school who is scheduled to spend time at your high school. If so, you can ask follow-up questions at that time. Then create a list of information you still need from any school. Send those inquiries to the representative. Be clear, concise, and be professional. And send thank you notes to every representative with whom you chatted. It doesn't have to be long or involved, just a thank you for the time and information they shared with you. Ask your high school counseling office or stay up to date with their website for information on college fairs near you. For virtual fairs, check the list of fair offerings in the description of this video on the From Nest to Wings website. College fairs are a great opportunity to gather the information necessary to make the decisions that will establish your educational future. Use them well. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.